the temperature is rising. The onset of the new season has awoken these two Carnotaurus dinosaurs, and they will need to find fresh meat. However, they are first thirsty, and will go to the pool before long to drink, but not after first inspecting their territory for intruders. There has been a recent absence of prey in this area. This is in part, due to the change in seasons. However, the Carnotaurus dinosaurs are smart. They know that eventually, prey will have to return to the hole, so that they may drink. If you can imagine, this scenario may seem similar to modern-day crocodiles in Africa. Already, there is a new scent in the air. It is somewhat distant, but it seems to be getting closer. If it is larger and vegetarian by nature, then it may be walking into a trap, set long, and long awaited. But, the prey may not arrive for a while. For now, the two meat eaters of this territory may bide their time. They are most peculiar in their composition, for their skins excrete a natural serum that acts like an odor blocker, and this keeps them invisible to other dinosaurs that rely on smell. There is a wavering in the scent. The Carnotauruses will try to keep silent, but now drink and fill their bellies with water and moisture. The scent is getting much stronger. The prey will arrive soon. To prepare to attack their prey, the Carnotauruses will rest a while, only to spring later into action, to attack their prey. This means they will sleep lightly, but they will have plenty of energy for their move, and they will move quickly, for it is difficult to outrun a Carnotaurus. The prey has arrived. It is a very unfortunate Parasaurolophus.
The Carnotaurus dinosaurs have made their kill. This fresh meat has long been awaited, and they will devour most of the carcass, hardly leaving scraps, except for perhaps its head, feet, and toes. Indeed, the head has been left, but not alone by itself. The feet and hands are also left behind, and this is indeed fortunate, for these parts of the carcass are incredibly necessary for the survival of smaller dinosaurs and prehistoric insects, for they rely on these for their own survival, and they will devour them until there is nothing left. And now, the plan has ended for the Carnotaurus. They are filled with strength and will stay a while longer, or travel together to another watering hole, once again to act as crocodiles, and try to lure in more prey. And thus is is with these two ferocious meat eaters, for which there still is hardly ever an escape, and they will keep hunting, always thinning out herds, and providing more sustenance that they will require for their young. <laughs>